Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 4th of September 2021. So Brendan Green, who is otherwise known as Player Unknown, the creator of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, is creating his own open world sandbox game of the vein of DayZ via his own studio. So he did incredibly well with PUBG, so we will see what he has planned for his future game. So far he's released a 30 second trailer called Prologue of what potentially it will look like graphically but we don't know about it very much more than that so we'll have to uh, wait and see uh, the next bit of news for today is uh, apparently nintendo are going to be bringing game boy and game boy color games to nintendo switch online so if you don't know what that is it's a subscription service on nintendo switch where you can play online games you can download old games like They've released a bunch of NES and SNES games so far. And I hope one day they release Nintendo 64 games. Because if they ever release Zelda 64 or Korean of Time, believe me, I'm going to be on that. And also as well, it's very, very cheap. Uh, so it depends on your region. But compared to PlayStation Plus and Xbox Gold and all the other equivalent services, the Nintendo Online program is definitely the cheapest. So we'll have to wait and see if they announce that, if you have any nostalgia about Game Boy games. And then the last bit of news for today is Facebook Gaming is working with apparently dozens, if not potentially hundreds, of music labels and record labels to allow mainstream music to be streamed when you're playing games on Facebook Gaming. So if you're a streamer on Facebook Gaming, potentially you'll be able to play any music you like. It won't be complete coverage. Like there will be some music which is still uh, DMCAable or copyright claimable. But what they'll do is in those situations is that they will flag it to say, okay, these are also record labels potentially we need to talk to because they haven't spoken to everyone. But the idea is simply is that in the future, when you're streaming on Facebook gaming, you'll be able to play potentially any music you like without having to worry about DMCA and copyright claims, which is completely the opposite direction compared to Twitch and YouTube. So Twitch and YouTube are focusing more on like, how do you avoid getting copyright claims? Um, please don't play any music, blah, 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 blah. Whereas Facebook are taking it head on. They're making deals with the music industry so that uh, streamers can do, can play the music. And also as well, initially it was, it was just available to Facebook level up partners. And to be a partner, you needed to be making $2,000 at least a month on the platform and have 3,000 engaged followers every single like, month. But that was just during the test phase. Now they're opening up to all streamers on the Facebook platform. So competition is good, like I've said many times before. And maybe it will motivate Twitch and YouTube to follow similar deals um, for their content. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you very much to all the new followers coming onto the feed every single day. I do really appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.